Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dan and Dom of the 8-Bit Project, and today Hello. we're doing something a little different. We're doing a build project, so... Yeah, we're going to start this project, and we aim to build... Well, the story goes, children, the long story, that long ago I made a server, and all of our friends built stuff on it, and we called the world Suspendis Crucis, and it had a town called Suspendis and a city called Crucis. And then, my dick friends blew up the world. Yeah! <laughs> um, but it was possibly the coolest thing I've ever built. It took probably two, it was a combination of about two months' effort to build it. Would you say, Dan? Yeah. Yeah. Two months. Um, yeah. So we're not yeah. aiming to build that, but we're going to try and sort of use the techniques we used to build those towns to make... Hey, pay attention to me when I speak. <laughs> to make uh, a town and possibly a city or whatever else. Okay, so basically today um, I'll be showing you like the layout that I'm gonna do. This is gonna be sort of a market square. So first things first, I'll show you how to build this um, the sort of market stool. So yeah. Okay, so basically there is um there is the product, the finished product. I've always wanted to be a fishmonger. <laughs> Hello, oh, oh dad, dad, be, be my cousin. Hello, would you like some fish? No. <laughs> so basically what we've got here is just a standard sort of five blocks of wood here, three blocks, and then we have a um stool basically. It looks a so lot like a market stool actually. Yeah. Good. It looks it looks a lot like um the ones you get in South and Walden <laughs> on a market day. Yeah. Is this fish one with a blue one? Oh. So you, if you want to add some like details to it, what you do is you just put in the chests. You can put cooked fish or raw fish or whatever. And if you want some, you want to add some sort of personal touches. You can um, do whatever you want. But usually the best place to put your torches is there. So what you, what you could do is you could personalize this and put anything you want in it. So you have like fishing rods as Dom is showing you here wonderfully well. Oh, I like fishing! <laughs> so yeah this is this is basically the aesthetic, your basic design and then you'll replicate it as um, you'll see as you'll see later. So this is the basic sort of outline that you're gonna want you're gonna have um, five blocks then a two block gap then another five blocks another two block five blocks and then for the corners you just go yeah. One, two, three. So you got one block diagonal between there. Uh, if you so have yeah. Dan's been rehearsing his counting for this. Yes, I. Uh, <laughs> so good. Okay, so we'll show you. We'll show you each side as we build so it. So as you can see here, you've got your sort of one side, and you can label them whatever you want. Um, we've just labelled them simple things like blue for fish, um, yellow for bread, oh. and red for beef. So yeah, that's um that's the basic overview. And then for the back, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put gravel down because gravel on this sort of texture pack it looks really good. You can add fence gates and everything, have like a single strip going down, and then you've got your um gaps in the middle which add for a sort of happy happy area. So yeah. We'll be back in a moment.
to the other half of the map. So as you can see here now, Dom's built his um, half. This is or quarter. <laughs> we've got um, we've got fruit and veg still here, pumpkin still here, and a chicken still here. You can pretty much customize the colors to your personality. Or you can uh, customize. Is it like a mood ring? Yeah. A or you can market. customize it to how you want them to look. And again, you can put whatever you want in the chest. So, in fruit and veg, you could have in one like fruit, and in the other, you could have veg. Or you could have one. Other as apples. Or you could have them like seeds and stuff, and who knows. Um, in pumpkins, you could have one with pumpkin pie, one with seeds, and everything like again. And in chicken, you can have your two types of chicken. So, yeah. So, as you see now, you just do whatever you really want. And always remember to put the gravel in the back with the gravel. Gravel is the key part. So now just time to add some finishing touches. And another one. And there we go. That is the finished market square. So you've got your little fountain in the middle. Your market stalls all around. And, they, and you can have an option of putting in... Um, villages to sort of customize it and make it a bit more living and yeah I like it it gives it sort of like a, a moving feel makes it seem like the market's alive plus you can actually trade with villages so yeah so I suppose there is something good and if, if all of them were in the right ones it would be amazing so. I think trade for villages is like the one I got offered three emeralds for a pair of shears but yeah so that's um, that is how to build the market stall in your little village Next, it will be houses. Okay, so I'm now going to be doing uh, the template for the basic house, which I'm going to be putting in here. It's going to be pretty awesome, so you should watch out. Okay, so we got door to. Two, like that. exciting at the back. <laughs> so yeah, that's all the houses built. Dom's just going to run you through everything now. Yeah, so these are pretty just a collection of five houses. They have a... Uh, take this one, for instance. They have... Uh, basic wood, it's quite a basic design, it's actually an exact mimic of the one I used in the old world I told you about that got blown up more than a year ago, um, so it's impressive I remembered. We have, yeah, basic ground floor, but pressure plate on a fence to make a table, uh, new flower pots which you have added, 
Uh, yep, and a painting up there. And now we got this ladder. Into the small but good bedroom with a nice sort of sky window thing. Item frames, I love them. It means you can put a clock on the wall. Uh, another painting, chest to keep all your stuff in. Um, one more thing I want to show you, which is the final thing they fixed in the patch which I'm really happy about. These! The corners! They're so beautiful! Basically, now if you place... Nice one, Dad. Sorry. <laughs> now if you place a stair between two stairs like that, it forms a corner. Dom's happy about that. So, so beautiful. Ah, oh, I broke it. <laughs> so that's, um... The basic sort of cul-de-sac area. Is um, it, that's it for this episode, actually. That yeah, that's it for um, this bit. We've we've added a couple of these little balls in here just to make it a bit more at aesthetically pleasing. Just because straight gravel because kind straight of. gravel just looks awful. I mean, we we could even add some more around the doors and stuff, but we'll probably uh, end up adding some small final touches later on and you can add whatever you want to these houses but that's just a brief sort of showing you what we do so yeah peace